is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 mercedes-benz glc 300 coupe courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because in my personal opinion at least this is a much better looking vehicle than the standard glc suv not only that there is one new color for the 2022 model year which of course i'll be touching on and plenty of new standard features for the 2022 glc coupe as well and so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so when it comes to pricing for the 2022 glc 300 coupe msrp will start at fifty two thousand five hundred dollars powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower 5800 rpm 273 pound feet of torque coming in at 1300 rpm power sent to all four wheels this is an all-wheel drive system after all through a nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters which of course we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to come in at a approximately 6.2 seconds top speed 135 miles per hour in case you were interested and mpg numbers coming in at 21 in the city 27 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the glc 300 coupe they would imagine drive modes it's labeled dynamic select that little toggle switch is located just to the left of the touchpad controller and those drive modes will include things like eco comfort sport sport plus and individual adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity and the eco start stop system then as well and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's put this thing to the test let's go ahead and find it straight away and let's test out the paddle shifters and acceleration here all at once and I'm gonna see how quickly the paddle shifters react and also see how quickly Quickly, we can get this thing here up to speed. All right, you guys, we are in Sport Plus driving mode from a standstill in three, two, one. I shifted early, it was my fault. It gets up to speed so quickly. It's like you don't even realize you're going as fast as you're going. The paddle shifters, there was a slight delay to them. So that's why I was kind of waiting a little bit longer because I wanted to keep testing that out. But yeah, there is a slight delay, which is kind of weird because usually Mercedes Benz absolutely crushes it with their paddle shifter reaction times. But I did have it in Sport Plus driving mode. Acceleration was definitely plenty fine. Absolutely not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway when it comes to that acceleration for sure. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important important so up front you will find 13.5 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.6 inch solid rear discs as far as that braking feel goes it's not bad i actually really like it it's kind of on the firmer side of things so braking feel feels wonderful here in the glc 300 coupe definitely no issues there then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent four link front suspension in the back 5r multi-link rear design also though an adaptive damping suspension so let me go ahead and put it back to comfort mode here and overall as far as ride quality goes it's been absolutely wonderful and that's due in part because of that adaptive suspension because essentially what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering giving you the best of both worlds so adaptive suspensions these days are really 100 where it's at if you want a smoother ride and you also want better handling at the same time so ride quality has been perfectly fine as far as steering feel goes it's excellent even in comfort driving mode here it still leans on the heavier side of things it's got excellent feedback to it but in that sport and sport plus driving mode it definitely changes up to the firmer side which i actually like even better so steering feel is 100 percent on point here in this thing touching on cabin noise i am actually going 60 miles per hour right now there isn't any wind noise whatsoever a little bit of road noise but when it comes to wind noise this thing is super quiet not as quiet as the maybach or the s-class or anything like that but still super quiet so no issues there either touching on visibility obviously this is going to be the section of the review where it's a little bit of room for improvement but then again it's kind of you already know what you're going to get when you get the shape of an suv it's going to sacrifice visibility if you did want a little more added visibility just go with that standard glc suv as opposed to the coupe version because that one's going to give you better visibility but having said that 
I don't know. I kind of feel like the shape of this thing is worth it. I can see fine out the back. It's probably something that you would easily get used to, but I did want to mention visibility is obviously not going to be the best because of its shape. Brain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on this one though. And also if you wanted a head up display that is available for an additional $1,100 there, but I pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 Coupe. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 Coupe finished in polar white. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name, let's go ahead and start with the new color for the 2022 model year, which is gonna be Starling Blue Metallic if you wanted the new updatest and greatest color when it comes to the GLC. And then let's go ahead and start up front. Up front, you will find that diamond block front grille in typical Mercedes fashion. There is an illuminated star available for an additional $500 if you wanted to go that route. You also can find some chrome accents on the lower portion of that front grille. I think you guys could see that. To the sides though, LED headlights do come standard, of course, with LED daytime running lights. They will come with the automatic feature, of course, and newly standard for 2022, automatic high beams as well. What that is, is when you have your high beams on, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's gonna automatically then dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna bump it back up to high beams. So kind of like automatic windshield wipers, just one less thing you gotta worry about there. So that's always nice, but that pretty much rounds out the front end of the GLC Coupe here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. And so now since we are around to the side of this one, satin chrome window surrounds do come standard. You will find some chrome accents on those door handles then as well. Rear privacy glass, of course, coming standard as well taking a look then at the side mirrors body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they will be heated with led integrated turret signals and they will actually be power folding then as well which is pretty impressive you don't always get that even on luxury vehicles so that's pretty cool taking a look down then at the wheel setup 19 inch five spoke alloys coming standard however there are several 20 inch wheel designs available if you wanted to go that route but pretty much rounds out the side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around back first thing i'm noticing here if you guys could see typically when we get around back the first thing i mentioned is a shark fin antenna but look how low profile this antenna is on the top it's not sticking up like barely like a tenth of an inch or something it's so low profile so it's kind of interesting and i wanted to mention that you do have some chrome accents just above the tail lights there those chrome accents continue down to the lower portion of the rear bumper as well led tail lights by the way do come standard as expected here so a little added illumination at night and just below it all you will find a nice black rear diffuser between the two exhaust outlets there and by the way integrated dual chrome exhaust outlets so Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the GLC Coupe, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate coming standard. So that is definitely very nice, meaning you can simply just kick your foot underneath and it will open up. There is actually a button on the key fob. There's a button on the tailgate itself and the button on the driver's door then as well. So plenty of different options there. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's actually a couple little buttons back in that cargo area. Simply just hit them and the rear seats are going to fold down for you bumping that up to 49.4 cubic feet also found in that cargo area of course you will find some cargo lighting there is a 12 volt power outlet there's a side cargo net to the left side there there is some chrome plated tie down anchors which is pretty cool got a couple of grocery bag hooks there is a cargo cover and if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor you're actually going to find a spare tire which i personally prefer as opposed to the fix the flat but also surrounding that spare tire a good bit of in-floor storage if you wanted to use it for that particular option then as well but then making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 37.2 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear ventilation of course does come standard there are two phone charging ports and a 12 volt power outlet just below that rear ventilation there is also a rear center armrest with cup holders and there's actually a little button if you press that there's a little tablet holder within the center armrest as well which is pretty cool and if you really wanted to spoil the rear passengers there are heated 
of your seats available for an additional $580 if you wanted to go that route. But then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar do come standard. Memory settings for up to three different drivers can be found at the driver's side door, also coming standard. Heated front seats, ventilated front seats actually can be added for $450 if you wanted that. Mercedes-Benz Tex upholstery does come standard. However, if you wanted full leather, that goes for $1,620 if you wanted to go that route. One more thing I wanted to mention because Mercedes-Benz does this and not many other manufacturers at all do this, is you can actually get memory settings for the passenger seat that goes for $350. And again, that's going to be for up to three different passengers, which is kind of cool if you switch off and on between drivers. So I really like that. Overall, seats were plenty comfortable as expected with the lumbar support and all the different ways you can adjust them basically. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is power tilt and telescoping, by the way. Leather wrapped and you can get a heated steering wheel for an additional $250. Then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. Essentially, all of your buttons are on one side of the key. You got lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear tailgate there. But essentially, it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. It's up at them once started up. Analog gauges do come standard. However, there is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that is available that goes for $750. We do have that option today and that is pretty cool because that gives you the ability to adjust between a bunch of different loadouts so you can make the gauges look completely different basically, which I personally love. And of course you got your basics up there like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a digital speedometer outside temperature, pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion then of the gauges. But then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a power sunroof that does come standard. Auto dimming rear view mirror with garage door openers for up to three different garage doors found on the bottom portion of that frameless rear view mirror, by the way, which is pretty cool. Dual zone climate control coming standard. There are 64 colors of ambient lighting, which Mercedes-Benz always does an extremely good job at as far as illumination goes and the placement of that. Wireless phone charger goes for two dollars if you wanted to go that route and there are plenty of different wood trims available as well we do have one of those matte texturized wood trims here today surrounding the air vents and the center touchpad controller and the exterior of the cup holders all that fun stuff so that is definitely pretty nice just in front of that touchpad controller you can find dual cup holders there's a 12 volt power outlet within the center armrest a decent amount of storage there there's actually an additional two phone charging ports in there as well but overall interior quality is absolutely wonderful as Mercedes-Benz has come to be known for after all. So definitely very nice. But so then making our way to the infotainment screen, 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display does come standard. Of course, like I said, it is touchscreen. You got the touchpad controller and buttons. And then there's also that option to say, hey, Mercedes. And you can essentially tell it what to do from there. Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system though, also coming standard, which is pretty cool. Themes is always one of my favorite sections with Mercedes-Benz. Essentially that completely changes everything about your experience from ambient lighting to climate control to pretty much everything from ambient lighting to the color of the gauges to a bunch of whole different other stuff as well so i always find that pretty cool you could change the themes between experience efficiency lounge standard all kinds of different themes and i love how it changes the gauges that makes it so cool but anyways you can also of course check out your radio information up there and so six speakers are going to come standard on this one however there is an optional 13 speaker burmester sound system with 590 watts that goes for 850 dollars if you wanted to go that route we do not have that particular sound system with us here today we actually got the six speaker one so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one the best six speaker sound system i've ever heard quite honestly it didn't sound like six speakers it sounded like an eight or a ten speaker sound system or something like that the bass was plenty loudness even the clarity that was an excellent sound system without it being an upgraded sound system i will definitely put it that way but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the glc coupe in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard but also a surround view monitor there to the left coming standard as well and a bunch of different views on the right as well so 
overall is always that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side carrying airbags do come standard a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard active brake assist, Mercedes-Benz emergency call service, meaning if you get in an accident, the vehicle's gonna talk to you and ask you if you need an ambulance or something like that, which is pretty cool. Blind spot assist with exit warning, attention assist, cross wind assist, parktronic with active parking assist, meaning it's gonna park itself, rear cross traffic alert as well then. And then there is a driver assistance package that goes for $1,700, which includes adaptive cruise control, active steering assist, evasive steering assist, active brake assist with cross traffic function, and plenty of other things as well actually but overall when it comes to my final thoughts very good looking suv without a doubt excellent ambient lighting i love the digital gauges where you can completely customize the look of them great driving dynamics as mercedes-benz has always been known for the only constructive criticism and really if you're looking for this vehicle you don't really care is going to be the rear visibility because obviously with this shape it's not going to be a hundred percent but anyways you guys already knew that and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold